In the previous video, we talked about electric current. And in this video, we'll talk about the force that is required to move all those electrons from one terminal to the other, or like one point to the other. So this force is called the electromotive force, or it is also called voltage or electric potential, electric um, or like potential difference. Um, pretty much all those means the same. Um, so for electrons to move from one point to the other, this potential difference is necessary. So for example, a battery that you commonly use in a remote or like any digital device out there, uh, like the alkaline batteries is like one has 1.5 volts. So which means there's a potential difference of uh, 1.5 volts between the positive and negative terminal of the battery. So this force is required to push the electrons through the circuit. So this potential difference is measured in volts. So we might also use millivolts or microvolts as in amperes. So what is one volt is, one volt is the energy required to move a unit charge through an element like that is like a unit charge is one coulomb of charge through an element. So that is what a volt is. So the most important thing to remember here is that the electric current always flows through an element or through a wire, but the voltage is always across an element or between two points. Let's say the voltage, what we said with the battery, is measured between the positive and the negative terminal. But when we talk about current, we talk about current that is flowing through something, so through a wire or through an element. So that is the most important aspect we should always keep in mind when we talk about electric current or electric voltage. And another important uh, point which we'll have to discuss uh, with uh, relation to the voltage is the ground reference. So if you have a very simple circuit like this, like with just one battery, um, so always like we take the negative terminal as the uh, zero volt ground reference. So the potential difference is 1.5 volts. So with this reference, always there is a potential difference of 1.5 volts. So that's okay. So this is a multimeter. We'll talk more about multimeters in the next unit. Mm. And this changes like when you have a uh, when you have more than like one um, one source of energy one more than one battery for example let's here see we have two batteries here so both of them are connected in series the potential difference across the positive and negative terminal of both batteries are 1.5 1.5 but if I consider the uh, this point as my reference point. So the potential difference between my ground reference and the first battery is 1.5 and ground reference and the second battery is 3 volts. But if I consider this as my ground reference, then the potential difference between my ground and this point is like 1.5 volts and this and the other battery, other negative battery is negative 1.5 volts. So which point you consider as a ground really is, is really important. That is going to determine how the current is going to flow. For example, if I take this as a ground reference and connect a load from this point to here and this point to here, the current will flow through this to the ground and more current is going to flow from oh, my apologies more current will flow because there's a higher voltage so more current will flow from this in this direction to the ground but if I add a load here and this is my ground terminal so the flow of current will be in this direction because always the current moves from the 
positive or like the higher potential to the lower potential so it moves from here to here and in this situation the current actually moves from the ground to the negative in this fashion actually so the dynamics completely changes when you consider like which one is your ground reference so here both uh, the loads connected the current will flow from higher potential to low but like again always current flow from higher potential to lower potential so this will be the current flow in this circuit and like that in this circuit but here it will be the same though but like again it flows from the ground through the battery so it'll be like that and here it'll flow like that and it comes back here so same amount of current will be flowing through both of these circuit but again the direction kind of changes and all those things so for now just remember that you will always have to mention which one will be your ground reference and consider to that point like what is the voltage difference or potential difference to other points and let's do a small problem to get to understand this much better so this is your assignment question 1.3 so for the point we'll find the point, point voltages reference to the ground so you will have to so here I have mentioned this as the ground so you will have to find the voltages or like the potential difference from each of those points with reference to the ground okay so let, I'll, I'll try and do maybe uh, one or two here so let's see so these this is ground all these are zero volts actually so this is going to be zero as well so voltage difference between VA and the ground VN ground is 3 volts likewise this is 0 and this is B but if you see it is negative it is connected on the other way so it is going to be negative 3 volts likewise let's do this one this is positive 3 volts and consider G so this is ground and you have two batteries this is 3 volts plus 3 volts so the potential difference between G and the ground is going to be 6 volts so likewise you will have to find the potential difference between each of those points with reference to the ground and that is question 1.3 and in the next subsection we will talk about electric power and let's see there.